Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today we're working on a 2002-2003 uh, Toyota Corolla with a 1.8 liter. VVT-I, 16 valve. So uh, I've actually already taken off the bolts here. There's actually two, um, oh, they look like push pins, but they're gone. But you'd actually take these two push pins out, ten, two 10 millimeter nuts on the front, and then you pop this cover off. What we're gonna be doing today is replacing the uh, PCV valve, the positive crank case ventilation valve. Two nuts and these uh, push pins out, you lift this straight up and out. The PCV valve actually is right here. That part right there is the PCV valve. Right here you have uh, this uh, pin um, clip, if you wanna call it that. So get a pair of pliers right here, push that out of the way. Squeeze it together, get it out of the way. And we're gonna work this hose back and forth and get this thing off. As I'm twisting back and forth, I'm pulling it that way. There you go. So as you can see, right there, there's a hose. There's an insulation on this hose. And uh, you just work it back and forth. If this was really stuck on here, you can actually use a screwdriver. Um, they make actual special tools that can go in there. Almost looks like a hook, a steel hook. That you hook underneath and below the hose and just pulls it off. It just helps, helps you uh, get the hose off that much more easily. So with that off, you're actually gonna spin this out, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Here's the uh, PCV valve, the positive crankcase ventilation valve off the uh, Toyota 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine. So to get this thing off, if you have uh, an open ended wrench, all you need is a 19 millimeter wrench to get this thing off if you don't wanna use a crescent wrench. So as you can see right here, Fits right, into, fits right into place, 19 millimeter wrench to get the PCV valve out. Righty tighty lefty loosey, so to get this out, we're actually gonna go in here with a crescent wrench and uh, spin it off that way. Just line it up. So to give myself a little bit more room, I'm taking this, there's a plastic rail right here that actually holds the wiring harness loom for the uh, spark plug coil packs. So we'll be able to get in there a little bit better. I'm actually gonna move this out of the way. There's uh, one 10 millimeter nut and one 10 millimeter bolt that hold this thing on. Had to remove some of the clips for the, uh, for the coil packs, spark plug coil packs. If you wanna see how to remove those, I'll put a link in the description below i actually show you how to do the uh, spark plugs on this particular vehicle, this particular engine. Okay, broke it loose. Highly doubt this thing's ever been changed. So there it is. The ball still moves in there. But I'm probably pretty sure that this, uh, this thing is original. It's a for one owner, and I, he said he's never spent a whole lot of money on the vehicle, so this is probably the uh, original PCV valve. Bought a new one from O'Reilly Auto Parts, MicroGuard PCV 406. So before I left the O'Reilly Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, I actually checked this. Uh, to make sure that it was the correct one. It's always a good idea to check your parts before you leave the parts house to make sure you have the right part, especially with spark plugs, actually with anything, just double check it. Make sure you have the right thing before you walk away and head home because the worst thing is to get home and then uh, find that you uh, don't have the right part. So we're gonna start this by hand. All right, there you go. Now bring in your wiring harness back over here. Bring your nut, bring in the bolt over here. Tighten this one down, just snug it up. Tighten this one down, the bolt here. Snug that up, okay. Bring back in your connectors for your coil packs. Make sure you hear that click. 
All right, all those are in place. The new PCV valve is in place. Bring your hose back in. If you're having a hard time getting the hose in, you can always uh, put a little bit of WD-40 in there, a little bit of grease, but I'm just gonna try to push it on here. That is how you replace the positive crankcase ventilation valve on a 2003, 2002, 2004 matrix pontiac vibe this engine this 1.8 engine if you look in the description below i'll put a i'll put a list down there of all the vehicles that this engine actually resides in this 1.8 liter toyota all right there you go that's how you replace the pcv valve on a 1.8 liter toyota if you have found any of my videos helpful please consider subscribing to bundy's garage on youtube questions comments concerns you can always email me at bundy's garage at gmail.com you can follow me on twitter at bundy's garage and like always I'll keep them rolling for you. Hate it when that happens. I hate it when I drop tools back there. As you can see it, good thing the engine is cold. <laughs>